Special Report reveals what you think is more important than what you do for achieving and maintaining healthy weight loss. Considering the statistics, being overweight is quite common. The National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey says that two out of three adults is either overweight or obese. One in three adults are obese. One in six children and adolescents are obese. And three out of every five are overweight. The World Health Organization reports that being overweight or obese dramatically raises the odds that you'll encounter heart disease, cancer, neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's, type 2 diabetes, and premature death. Plus, there's the lifetime of emotional issues which include low self-esteem and destructive behavior. If carrying too much body fat is so bad for you, and so many people have this problem, how come it is so hard to lose weight and keep it off? The answer is simple. People are being given the wrong information. You're told that all you need is the right diet, the perfect pill, or that if you exercise X number of days, you'll look like a slim, sexy supermodel in 90 days. The problem is that while a healthy diet and exercise can help you lose weight, you're not addressing the core problem. The most important thing you need to do before you follow any weight loss plan is to have the proper mindset. After all, psychology is 99% of successful weight loss. The problem is most people don't understand what that means or the mental obstacles that keep them from lasting weight loss success. Let our special report be your guide and discover the psychological blocks that make it nearly impossible to lose weight and keep it off. Why weight loss is so hard for so many. How to deal with the inner critic that sometimes wrecks your weight loss efforts. Weight loss is about the relationship you have with yourself and you can learn how to make that a healthy relationship. Self-sabotaging behavior you should avoid. Key steps to develop the proper weight loss mindset. Why you must give up the idea that there's a magic diet that does all the work for you. The steps you need to follow to make your mind a weight loss powerhouse. Two lists that are simple to make and can improve your weight loss results. Why small goals and milestones are the key to success. Why changing your heart can develop the mindset you need to finally realize all of your weight loss goals. And much more. The human mind is so powerful and your behaviors are led by your thought process. No matter your reasons for wanting to lose weight, you can be successful. This is true even if you've tried for years or decades to lose weight and failed. That is how powerful the human mind is. When you follow the advice in this life-changing report, you'll start to see positive change. Today can be the first day of your journey to finally achieving and maintaining a healthy body weight. Your mind can give you the weight loss results you deserve. Don't wait. Take action and make the changes that only you can make. Get your copy today. Three key mindset shifts you need to lose weight and keep it off. Weight loss is hard, and maintaining any loss on a permanent basis is even harder. Your mindset plays a key role in losing weight and keeping it off. Experts agree that 99% of successful weight loss is psychological. Think long-term habits, not short-term fixes. If you look for quick fixes, you'll only get short-term results. Stop thinking about losing weight quickly and start thinking about how to lose weight sustainably. When deciding on the actions you will take towards weight loss, ask yourself if it's something you could see yourself doing for five or 10 years. Your results are tied to your actions. If you can't maintain the actions that resulted in weight loss, you won't maintain that loss. Stop thinking weeks, start thinking years. Stop believing in the magic diet. Believing that that special magic diet will save you is one of the most common psychological blocks to lasting weight loss. The merry-go-round goes like this. You find a new diet that promises great results. You get on that diet. You lose 10, maybe 20 pounds. 
and then you get off the diet and return to eating as you normally do. No lasting changes have been made, and so you gain the weight you lost or more. Five Psychological Blocks to Weight Loss Did you know that psychology is 99% of weight loss success? If you want to lose weight and keep it off, you must deal with the emotions, beliefs, and psychological baggage you carry around about yourself, food, weight, body image, and eating habits. Number one, lack of self-awareness. Self-awareness is always the first step to change of any kind. In order to make changes, you must identify and accept what psychological blocks exist within you regarding weight loss. Once you know what they are, you can address them and facilitate change. Knowledge, journaling, workbooks, and a coach or a therapist can all help you to gain awareness. Number two, distorted positive benefits. A huge psychological block to weight loss is the subconscious belief that you are getting more benefit from staying overweight than in losing the weight. This may sound crazy, but it makes sense for many, as losing weight presents a whole slew of changes in one's life, and fear of change is so common. It is also a challenge to lose weight and keep it off. So avoiding that challenge can be a payoff in itself. Consider carefully your payoffs for staying overweight. Make a list and counter those with the benefits of losing weight. For those with low self-esteem, or worse yet, self-hatred issues, staying overweight and being overweight can be a subconscious form of self-punishment and feelings of being undeserving of anything better. These can be deep-seated issues, and a licensed therapist can help you work through them. Number 3. Eating to live versus living to eat. Eating to live is a healthy mindset that considers food as sustenance and a requirement for survival. On the other hand, the living to eat mindset is obsessed with food and uses food as an emotional crutch and typically results in eating for reasons other than hunger. Food is required by the body to survive 